Welcome back to Pokemon Crystal Kanto Journeys. In the last episode, we battled Janine, the gym leader, here. And now... Hold on. Second, second thought. I don't want to get on my bike. Now, in this episode, we're going to head over to Pewter City. But before we can do that, we have to do something else to get to Pewter City. Because if you come down here on Route 19... Sorry, this road is closed for construction. If you want to get to Cinnabar, you'd better go south from Pallet Town. Who knows how long it would take to move this boulder. Uh, please be careful if you are swimming to Sea Foam Islands. Fuchsia Police. So, uh, originally you could take this path, go to Cinnabar Island, go up to Pallet Town, and easy, right? Easy. Not in this game. They like to make things just a little bit more difficult. So, we're actually going to head back to Vermilion City. Meet you there in a while. Alright, back here in Vermilion City. I bet you're wondering what we're doing here in Vermilion City. How do you get to Pewter's, Pewter City? Well, if you've played this game before, you know that to go to Pewter City, you have to go through Diglett's Cave. And the only way to get through Diglett's Cave is through battling something that's blocking the road. And that would be this big giant Snorlax. Now remember a few videos ago we got we went to Lavender Town and picked up the expansion card, which is what you're gonna need here. So all you gotta do is let's uh all you gotta do is just, you know let's Either you gotta, you gotta, bleh, I don't even know what I'm talking about here, um, I for, completely forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, um, I picked up some Ultra Balls, cause I didn't know if, um, if I had any in my pack. I have, oh, I have some Great Balls and some Ultra Balls. Didn't notice that. And a Master Ball, which I'm saving for later. Let's go to the Poke Gear and go to our radio. And... Let's find the Pokey Flute channel. Play it. The Poke Gear was placed near the sleeping Snorlax. Snorlax woke up. Snorlax attacked. This is Snorlax. Snorlax is a pretty bulky. He's a very, a very bulky Pokemon, and I don't know why I have Haunter out. I guess I'll just, um, put to sleep to make this go a little easier here. Um, and knows, I think it knows Rest, Snore, Amnesia, and Body Slam. If that's actually the correct moves, that's gonna be a little weird that I know that. But anyway, uh, this thing can is not going to go down easily. And it's actually helping me now that it's asleep and I can use some Dream Eater. It's not going to go down easily. Um, you gotta chip away at this at Snorlax's health and finally when it gets down to the bottom you have to be careful because it'll probably use rest and you know and wake itself back up and that's not something you want to happen. Ha! Ah. Your normal type moves don't affect me, and it has leftovers. Remember, I said this is this is the second leftovers that you can get in the game. The first one being in the in Celadon City with those people that eat all that food, the eating contest. This is the second one you can get. So those are it's actually two really good items. Yep. So I'm just chipping away at this thing's health by using Dream Eater. It'll probably wake up right here. And Body Slam won't do anything to me because I'm a ghost type Pokemon and your normal type moves do not affect me. So I wish I could see the move Snore because I've always wanted to know what the move Snore looked like in any generation, in generation 2, 3, or 4. I've always wanted to know what the move Snore looks like. And. I would recommend Snorlax if you really want it, because it's not one of those things where it's like, don't get Snorlax, it's awful Pokemon, 
It's a really good Pokemon. It's bulky, and using, when it uses Body Slam, it's powerful. I would recommend this thing right away. Catch it and use it. It'll, it'll probably be a good member to your team. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use an Ultra Ball here. So, let's go for the Ultra Ball. One. Oh, it appeared. I never understood that it appeared to be caught. How can it appear to be caught? If it appeared to be caught and then I catch it like three turns from now, then it wasn't caught. That's my little spiel on this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna put it back to sleep to make things easier again. So basically this is gonna be a hypnosis, dream eater, rest, leftovers kind of a battle. It's basically what it is. So a lot of this is actually gonna be cut out. No, I didn't want to use a ball. I wanted to use the move Dream Meter. I only have four Dream Meters left. Three now. Here's the thing. I don't know whether to use another Dream Meter. I'm not even planning to use this thing on my team. But it'd be a nice addition. Even though we're already almost done with the game. Almost had it. I think we're gonna just try another Dream Eater here. To get it down to even a lot less health. Roll out. Okay, so it doesn't know my amnesia, it knows a rollout. Just FYI. If I don't catch it, like I said, if I don't catch it, it'll all be okay. I'm gonna put you to sleep again. Okay, Ultra Ball, come on, work! Yeah, I caught it! Snorlax, a sleep sleeping Pokemon. This Pokemon's stomach is so strong, even eating moldy or rotten food will not affect it. I have not caught a Pokemon in a long time. You know what, we can stop playing the Pokegear music. No. Regular music. And now, here we are in Diglett's cave. A bunch of Diglett popped out of the ground. That was shocking while you're in Diglett's cave. How shocking is that? Anyway, there's only two new Pokemon here. Well, in this cave, there's only two Pokemon. 
Diglett and Doug Trio. Let's go over them really quickly. That was Diglett and Doug Trio, and basically, that was the dungeon. Yep. I just realized something. I need cut. Oh, uh, well, anyway, uh, I'll be right back as soon as I go all the way back to Vermilion City and get me cut. <laughs>